One of the things that my lab is very interested in is looking at how developmental biology plays a role in the pathogenesis of adult bowel disease. And one would think that those could be completely unrelated, but we've found a lot of interesting uh, data that shows that specific diseases, some of which uh, affect the uh, majority world, um, exhibit characteristics that are very similar to the way the embryonic heart forms. Um, what we like to do is we like to use developmental biology as essentially a paradigm to uncover natural mechanisms of how valve tissue forms, how heart valves are modeled and try to use those same mechanisms to understand how the diseases of the valve, a number of which affecting these uh, very large groups of people, and furthermore try to understand if there are biological targets, molecular mechanisms that could be specific to these uh, patient groups that we can then deliver perhaps a low-cost, uh, broadly uh, available therapy to affect these younger patient populations. And so in this article we started by reviewing a lot of what is known in this area, both from our lab, our data from our lab, and uh, from the, the wider uh, research community.